Hello, everyone, and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Well, this podcast is called Telling the Time, because some of you have been asking me the correct way to tell the time uh, in English. So, for example, I'm just going to give you a few examples here, okay? So, 10.20 or 20 past 10, or, for example, 10.40 or 22.11. What is the situation with that and which one is more correct? Well, of course, digital clocks and uh, digital items which show us digital time are a little bit new into English. So before that, we always had clocks with faces and the clock face would tell us the time. So if you have a clock in your house and you look at it and it's the, the, the minutes are showing us 20 minutes after 10 o'clock, then that's 20 past 10. So the situation is that it begins on the hour it begins on the hour, and then each minute after that is past. Five past ten, six minutes past ten, ten past ten, eleven minutes past ten. You hear there that with every five minutes, I don't need to use the word minute. Five past ten, ten past ten, quarter past ten. So we don't say 15 past 10, okay, 20 past 10, 25 past 10, and half past 10. But if you choose a minute in between, it would be 7 minutes past 10, um, 11 minutes past 10, 25 minutes past 10. You could say if you wanted to, but you don't have to. It's only for the it's only for the the little numbers, you know, 24 minutes past 10. So 24 minutes past 10, 25 past 10, okay? Um, if you do accidentally add the word minute in, it's not a problem, okay? It's just more like a, an emphasis, okay? Uh, but what you can't do is you can't say 15 past 10. So that would be quarter past, or you could say 15 minutes past 10. And then after half past, it goes the other way. It looks forward towards the next hour. So... For example, half past 10, and then it becomes 29 minutes before 10, 24 minutes before 10. And the usual rule applies about, uh, about the five minutes. Okay, so 20 to 10, quarter to 10. You don't need the word minutes as we did on the way down from the hour. So we're going up to the next hour, 10 to 10, 11 minutes to 10, 12 minutes to 10, 8 minutes to 10, 5 to 10. Okay, and one other thing to keep in mind, and this is often quite confusing for people, is at midnight or at midday, the moment the clock strikes, you are into either p.m. or a.m. Okay, so... 12 at night is 12 a.m., okay? Because the moment it's hit, it becomes morning, yeah? It becomes a.m. And at night time, uh, well, I'm getting confused, aren't I? Because I just mentioned what it's like at night time. So at night time, it becomes a.m., and in the afternoon at midday, it becomes p.m. So... You have 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning, 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., and then 12 p.m. It starts right on the nose of 12, okay? 12 p.m. all the way up to the morning time again, which is 12 a.m., okay? With digital clocks, it's so much easier. You just say what you see. Let me give you an example. So, uh, 1020, 1021, 1022, 10.48. Uh, it's always past. It's never before the hour. It just keeps counting, all right? 
The only other type of clock that you might hear is a 24-hour clock. When I say you might hear, you might hear about, I should say, or you might see the 24-hour clock. That's an interesting one. Um, it's used in our military. Uh, it's also used for um, uh, airport departures, and you sometimes see it on train stations. The 1413 train is now on platform one, for example. You know, so it's still quite common. You also see it on Windows on the computer, which is a bit strange because they don't really use it in America. I remember my American friend coming to visit and she's looking at the airport departure board on her way back. Oh my God, what's this time? <laughs> anyway, so they, they don't always use it. So uh, th that's basically how easy the clock is. So the 24 hour clock, the, the military one is a little bit different because you have, for example, two o'clock, 1400 hours, three o'clock, 1500 hours. Then you have 15, uh, you have 15, 15, uh, uh, you have 15, 30. Okay, so it, it can get a little bit complex. Okay, so if you see it, you should be able to work out what it is immediately. It's going to look a little bit like the digital, you know, but uh, the way they describe it, they don't say AM, PM. They, uh, they would simply say it's 1500 hours. It's 1615 GMT. It's 1630 GMT. They always add GMT, which is Greenwich Mean Time, or UTC, which is Universal Coordinated Time, or I think America has EST, doesn't it? Eastern Standard Time. Um, I don't know uh, uh, why there are so many time zones like that, but... Um, I usually refer to GMT or UTC because it's more convenient for me. If you ask me to calculate Eastern Standard Time, which is a local American issue, I wouldn't know. Okay, so it's important to just keep in mind the last little acronym they give you with it. It's 1500 hours, GMT. It's 1500 hours, UTC. It's 1,500 hours EST. That can be really important because those times can differ greatly from GMT. And even within Britain, we have GMT, but BST, which is British summer time, uh, is usually one hour different, I think, from GMT, as far as I recall. It gets very confusing. Yeah. Uh, so just keep that in mind. All right. And that's time. So see you. Bye.